<lacht> Hier. Oh. Alright, so that's the end of um, our shrimp series. What I mean and um, what I define the shrimp series as is uh, my ability to move my hips independently away from my partner using my frames. That's it, that's your shrimp series right there. And if you think back to your hip escaping class or your shrimp, whatever your coach calls it, that is exactly what's happening. You are moving your hips. Um, now we're gonna just look at our underhook series. If you've, looked, if you've watched my half guard videos already, it's very much a similar sort of idea and same sort of thing. So let's start off by getting this underhook. We are gonna get this underhook by utilizing our framing principles. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on getting this underhook because um, it, it's already there in the videos, okay? So, first up, getting my underhook. So from here, I'm gonna generate this underhook by framing on my partner with this top arm. So if I get my cross grip in here, yeah, I create some space with my hips, my elbow rolls inside, I get my underhook, okay? Same, same from, from any other um, frame here. So from here, I'm starting to frame on my partner's bicep. Well, now I roll inside, there's my underhook, okay? We'll keep going. I start framing on my partner's head, but he starts driving back towards me, elbow inside, there's my underhook, okay? I frame with my shoulder here, okay? I might start rolling my hand inside, yeah? Again, my elbow is um, exposed, but if he starts attacking my elbow, there is my um, underhook um, off of that. So again, we'll turn around, look at those four scenarios to generate my underhook. Again, this isn't a complete technique series. I'm sure you could film a whole video series on how to get an underhook from bottom side control. But what you are doing essentially is you are using the frames we've already looked at in order to generate that space so you can reach for the underhook um, safely. Yeah. So, from here first up, I've got my cross frame. I create some space, my elbow rolls inside. There's my underhook. Okay. From here, I'm framing on my partner's head. He comes back towards me, elbow inside. I get my underhook. I am just on my back, I'm using my shoulder as a frame. Well, from here I start rolling my hand inside, he tries to expose my elbow, he gives me an underhook, yeah. We can even go to, to this here, where I double V-grouped, and I created all this space, and as he comes back onto me, I dive my underhook, okay. So again, I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes of videos to break these down and go over them 20 times, relate back to those initial framing videos and see how you can generate the space so that you get that underhook, okay? 